It was a cattle ranch and I came as anti-poaching and problem animal control officer. The cattle people weren't aware of the value of the wildlife, especially things like leopard. Zebra and wildebeest and all the other grazers were not tolerated. The last remaining buffalo in the area were busy being eradicated because of foot and mouth control. The leopard, lion, cheetah, hyena were taken out as soon as there was any conflict with the cattle, which was regular. Especially protected animals like cheetah used to disappear down ant bear holes uh, because they were protected by legislation, but there was no value to the farmers. It was very difficult to uh, accept, and I constantly had arguments with the management who kept on reminding me that it was uh, a cattle-based economy was a cattle ranch. As the years progressed, the whole area started shifting from cattle to wildlife because post-independence, more and more safari clients were prepared to come here as a hunting venue. The constant droughts and progressively worse rainy seasons in the low felt then helped to shift a lot of the historically cattle producers onto the wildlife side and they were actually starting to form conservancies in the low felt. They realized the importance of it. That was very pleasing. After the 92 drought, the drought was so intense that they could see that there was no recovery for the cattle herd. The owners of the previously Lemco Ranch sold it to shareholders. Luckily, they were wildlife minded. They got together and they phased the cattle out, bought a few other adjoining ranches and formed the Booby Valley Conservancy.